Hello. I would like to thank Dr. Manela Steyen for inviting me to speak to you today on this important occasion. My name is Dr. Henry Rodriguez, and I am the founding director of the National Cancer Institute's Office of Cancer Clinical Proteomics Research that is located in the Office of the Director in the Division of Cancer Treatment and Diagnosis. And for the past six months, I've been serving as the Assistant Director for Strategic Health and Cancer Science in the Executive Office of the President at the White House, of which I was part of the team charged with the reignition of the U.S. Cancer Moonshot. Last year marked the 50th anniversary of the National Cancer Act. That was truly a watershed moment for cancer research in the United States. At the National Cancer Institute, we are using this important milestone as an occasion to look back and understand how far we've come in cancer research, but more importantly, how far we still need to go. In 2016, when I was asked by the White House Cancer Moonshot Task Force, then led by Vice President Biden, to develop cancer moonshot initiatives, there was no hesitation on my part to promote team science, data sharing, and the exciting new field in precision medicine called proteogenomics. Drawing inspiration from the Cancer Moonshot, the International Cancer Proteogenome Consortium, ICPC, was catalyzed as a means to encourage cooperation and investments among nations and institutions in proteogenomic cancer research and to make their data available to the public in an unprecedented international scale in order to advance cancer research and care throughout the world. This effort has now turned into a growing network of leading research centers across the globe whose studies truly represent the diversity of people with cancer. ICPC currently has greater than 30 member institutions spanning 14 countries, of which we are fortunate that in 2021, Josep Carreras Leukemia Research Institute joined this global fight against cancer. Recently, on February the 2nd of this year, President Biden reignited the cancer moonshot with two primary goals. In the US, reduce the death rate from cancer by at least 50% over the next 25 years and improve the experience of patients and families living with and surviving cancer. What's nice is that this supercharged cancer moonshot is envisioned to include not only cancer research, but also healthcare delivery and access to close gaps and improve health equity. I believe we can reach the president's goals. I also believe that this golden age in precision medicine will be powered in part by the unprecedented amounts of data and analytical tools that will become available to us, which are transforming our understanding of cancer biology at the molecular level. So many more people can live longer and healthier lives. ICPC is in a unique position to build on the vision of President Biden. Its approach to science is a key cancer moonshot priority. And ICPC is well poised to make real world progress against common and rare cancers throughout the world. To this regard, Josep Carreras Leukemia Research Institute's effort in ICPC is important. Its dedication to biomedical research and personalized medicine in leukemia and other malignant blood disorders at the basic epidemiological, preventive, clinical, and translational will help ICPC break down silos and further our understanding of leukemia to better inform patient care. I want to extend NCI support and excitement for Josep Carreras Leukemia Research Institute's future contribution to ICPC and the Cancer Moonshot. Again, I thank you for the opportunity to speak and I wish you a great future.